Hello, welcome to this video. I'm previous the tutor. This is Bayeroj. I'll be looking at the endocrine system. And before we go anywhere, I have these five questions that you have to answer. But before we answer, let's just give a bit introduction about the endocrine system. Now, the endocrine endocrine system it's a system or it's a system of coordination. So it's a system of coordination. of coordination that is made up made up of what of glands that produce hormones that's produce what produce hormones Now these are not just any glands, but they are ductless glands. Reason being, they are called ductless glands because they don't have tubes or connections to transport these hormones. All right? They don't have. They only transmit them by the same. The hormones are the courage. Uh, for for these messages so they have no tubes that's the reason why they're called ducts or they don't have ducts to carry the hormone from one uh, point to the other within the body now there are those um, now these hormones that are produced that these hormones that are produced, they what they attack. The hormone produced, they attack or they target what we call target organs. So they target these organs known as the target organs before they are destroyed by the liver. Now remember all these hormones that are produced by the endocrine system or what we call the endocrine glands, they are further destroyed by the what? By the liver. So that's one of the bit of introduction about the endocrine system that we have to know that it's a system of coordination in the first place. It's a system of coordination that deals with what? Production of hormones by Ductress glands. Now, these hormones that are produced, they attack the target, gla target glands. And well, once they are finished attacking the target glands, they are now destroyed by the liver. Now, let's let us look at the structure of the endocrine system. On the head, on the brain, there we have what to call the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. So I'm answering part A that says name four endocrine glands found in the body. One of them is pituitary gland, and it's found. Uh, I'm also answering part of B. It says it's found on the brain. Then we have a thyroid gland. They they call it a H-shaped thyroid gland. It's located just on the neck, on the pharynx. So this is located on the brain. You can see why well, this one is located on the neck. Then, but what does the pituitary gland produce? The pituitary gland, it produces a lot of hormones. One of them is the ADH hormones. So, so let, let me just say the pituitary, pituitary gland produces one, the ADH hormone, we call it the antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin. That's the other name for the ADH, vasopressin. So the ADH, it makes sure that the water levels in the body, they are balancing. When you have low water levels in the body, what happens? 
the pituitary gland becomes stimulated to produce more ADH to stimulate that more water can be, can be there in the body. When there's more water in the body, the pituitary gland gets a less message in terms of production of uh, ADH. Hence, less ADH will be available because there's more water in the body. That's mainly about the ADH. And another hormone produced by the same pituitary gland is the growth hormone. We know what a growth hormone is. This it stimulates the synthesis of macromolecules such as proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. Another hormone produced by the pituitary gland is the growth hormone. Growth hormone. Growth hormone it enables us to grow. Now you can either be, you can grow, you, you can either grow into a giant. Or you can either grow into what you call a dwarf. Now, when you grow into a giant, that means you have a lot of growth hormones. When you grow into a dwarf, you have little growth hormone. Now, giantism is a condition where an individual abnormally is abnormally tall and huge. And I'm sure you've seen. Uh, such uh, things. We also have acromegaly. Acromegaly, spelling by acromegaly, is also caused when you have too much of growth hormone. You can either be suffer from giantism or from also acromegaly. Acromegaly, that's a, where a person, uh, the bones, all right, is the enlargement of the bones. That's mainly like the bones are too, are too uh, long or too tall, like that. Then where we, now we have where to call the dwarfism. Where someone grows into a dwarf, where you have very little, like I explained, very little growth hormone. So you are going to turn into a dwarf. All right. So let's go to the pituitary, sorry, the thyroid gland. A thyroid gland. It's an H-shaped gland that produces thyroxine hormone. If I can like, get, get a little of this. So it produces thyroxine what? Hormone. So this produces thyroxine hormone. Right? Now, thyroxine hormone it controls the basal metabolic rate. The basal metabolic rate. It controls the basal metabolic what? Metabolic rate. Now, what happens when more thyroxine hormone is produced? Uh -huh. When more thyroxine hormone is produced, it leads to what we call mycodema. Sorry, not mycodema, but hyperactivity. It causes hyper activity you're just very active and jumpy all those kind of stuff that's when you have a lot of thyroxine hormone but under production of thyroxine hormone when you have a little thyroxine hormone you suffer from what you call mycodema mycodema and cretinism You can either, either suffer from mycodema or cretinism when you have very low levels of thyroxine hormone. Now, I won't go in details. That I'll, I'll give you a task where I can, you can go out and search on these terms and know them better. Now, we have, I can erase this. We have the next one, uh, which is the adrenal gland. Where is the adrenal gland? Where is adrenal gland? Adrenal gland. These are glands located on top of kidneys, just above the kidneys here. Here. These are to go there. Adrenal glands. Adrenal glands. These they produce adrenaline hormone. Now, adrenaline hormone is a, an emergence hormone, a, a flight hormone. Others they call it a fight or a flight hormone. It prepares the body for emergency. 
in case in case there is an emergency, like how do people react when you meet a snake in front of you? Adrenaline hormone, it makes you take an action or it prepares the body. It makes the body sense that there is something coming. So you, the way you react depends on the kind of, uh, on different factors, such as uh, how much oxygen you have around there, uh, how is the rate of conversion of glucose to glycogen, how is it? So all those things are combined by the adrenaline hormone. So all the hormone is produced by the adrenal glands. And where are they located? On top of the kidneys. Then we have the pancreas. You can see it is here, the pancreas. The pancreas, it doesn't just play a role in coordination. It also plays a role in digestion. Now the pancreas, it has got two cells or two hormones, insulin and glucagon. Insulin, it converts glyco uh, glucose to glycogen. So the pancreas produces insulin and glucagon. Now what happens, if I want to convert, if I want to convert glucose to glycogen, I use insulin. But if I want to convert glycogen now to glucose, I use what? Glucagon. That's the only thing. So it's like the other one reads in the other opposite direction while the other one goes in the other, uh, other opposite direction. So these are the main two hormones produced by the, uh, the pancreas. State one hormone produced by each gland. We've talked about that. State one difference between the endocrine and, this, and the nervous system. So what's the difference between the endocrine system and the nervous system? The endocrine system, it uses hormones. All right, hormones. Wow, this one uses what to call nerves. That's a nervous system. The endocrine system uses you know, hormones, hormones to transmit messages. Wow, the nervous system, it uses nerves or or the yes the 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 nerves to transport what messages from one part to the other another thing is that the nervous system is a quick system while this is slow except for adrenaline normal so the, there's an exception here except for adrenaline because adrenaline is very quick a lot of differences between the endocrine system and the nervous system. Please look them up. Why are endocrine glands known as ductless glands? I think we talked this in the in the in the introduction. I said because they have no ducts, and or you can say because they have no tubes to transport hormones from one part to the other. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Peter Stetuta.